Right, this is a demonstration, hopefully work, of how to use Mathematica on the Raspberry Pi to set up a simple machine learning program that will work out whether a picture that we show it is a cat or a dog. Okay, I'm going to cut some parts of this because some aspects take a while to run. Um, but um, obviously you don't want to sit and watch it doing nothing. Um, but off, let's get started. So starting at the top here in the notepad, we need to create an entity which will be um, the ultimately it'll be a bank of images of cats. So let's begin by finding some cats. Um, so if I press control equals and there we have it. <coughs> that is, it is a bit temperamental. I, I don't really understand quite why. I don't know whether it's that it needs to set up that knowledge base connection. So all I did there, really you should be able to type press control equals, type cat breeds and then press enter. Um, but it seems that you need to press shift enter to force the connection and then delete all of that, press control equals cat breeds and enter and then it works. I don't know what the dollar sign failed relates to but it doesn't have any effect. So after that we're going to type entity properties to get a list then it's shift enter to execute that code to evaluate it and the one we want is image again it's a bit fiddly copy then replace that with open square brackets paste in the image close square brackets. Then at the beginning of the line we're going to save this to a variable called cat picks. And then it's shift enter again to evaluate that. Now this will take a little while. There we have our cat picks. As you can see there's quite a few. Okay, now you'll see that we've got cells. These are cells. We're in cell 3 here um, with the input there and the output there. Now I don't want to see these images now because they just get in the way, so I'm just going to double click the little triangle in that top corner and that will close that up so only that's visible. We now I need to press the down arrow to go into a new cell and we did basically the same thing with dogs. So if we press control equals dog breeds and enter. There we go, so it's worked. See so it seems to be fine now, it's got a connection. And then again, entity properties. Shift enter. And again we've got an image property. This isn't the same as the image, you can't just copy that over. So copy that. Open square brackets, paste, close square brackets, then at the beginning, dog picks. Now then, we can't go, there are actually over 300 pictures of dogs, and in my experience has been that um, the Wolfram Alpha, or at least the implementation of Mathematica on um, the Raspberry Pi, runs out of memory. So we're only going to, what we're going to do is take a hundred images. And to do that, we just open, having got our expression written, we then in front of dog breeds, type the word take, open square brackets, then right at the end, oops. Add a comma and 50, close square brackets. 
and that will now extract 50 images rather than 300. And shift enter, well 376 that would have been. For some reason it has to download all 376 but then selects 50. Right, so there we are. We now have 50 pictures of dogs loaded in dog pics. So again, I'm going to close that up. Okay, so what our function is going to do is it's going to, as I said, take 50 cats and 50 dogs, but we need to link the cat images to cats and the dog images to dogs, because at the moment um, Mathematica doesn't know what is what, they're just pictures as far as it's concerned. So now we need to create two variables for one for cat, one for dog, so that we can link those variables to the appropriate pictures. So we press control equals and type cat enter so we now have domestic cat and at the beginning we just call that cat again shift enter okay then the down arrow to get into the next cell again we'll do the same with dog so control enter dog shift enter and then we'll go in there again and call that dog Okay, now we need to amalgamate those lists, the two lists of pictures with the two variables we've just created. We'll do that using a thread. So we'll create a new variable, all picks equals thread cat picks plus cat. Oh, right, now we need a right pointing arrow. To get that you press escape, dash, right chevron, escape. You'll notice that <coughs> you notice that's in blue. That's because it's lost whatever was in there, so we'll just have to rerun that one before we can run it. To cat. We then need to flatten that so it becomes a one list with them with the dog ones just following on. But before I run that, I'm gonna to have to just rerun this one. There we go. You'll notice now cat picks is black, so we can run this. And you'll see what it creates is it's, there we go see so it's it's um, connected each picture with its breed at the end of that there should be 50 pictures of dogs there we go so that's what our um, machine learning system is going to work on is that library it's only a very small library but I don't want to push my luck on the Raspberry Pi. So now we're going to use, we're going to create a new variable, which will be a function ultimately, dog or cat, equals, and we use the classify function, and we pass to it all picks, and then shift enter. Again, this will take a little while. It's now going through all of the those photos and working out why it is what it is about the pictures of cats that makes them cats and what it is about the pictures of dogs that makes them dogs and that makes them what it is that makes them different to each other right 
it has finally finished classifying and we can now pass in some images. So we call the function dog or cat and I've got a picture on my desktop of a Rottweiler. it think the Rottweiler is? It thinks it's a dog, which is correct of course. I also have a picture of a cat, so we'll try that again. I could have just um, replaced the previous one. So at least in that limited set of cases it could tell what was a dog and what was a cat. As you can imagine the uses for this, if it could be made a little more reliable, although most of the problems I've had tonight have been, I think, data connection errors, um, this could be used for identifying different species if you set up a remote camera, for example, or really for any purpose where you need to tell between one um, image type and another. Okay, that's that. Bye-bye.